what's up everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm maya as you guys can see by the title we are going to be watching season one episode 15 i forgot what, I, what season i was on for a second but episode 15 yes this is the episode you guys have been waiting for i know so many of you guys were excited for this episode so i don't really know how it's going to uh play out but I mean, I'm really excited for this episode. We're gonna do a quick recap of what happened in the previous episode and then hop right into episode 15. There was the whole thing going on with um, Martin Stein and Ronnie being merged together and figuring out what was going on with them. So they ended up leaving, I think to, did they say Pittsburgh? I, I don't remember where they said that they were going, but they're leaving to go figure out what um, is like really going on with them and how they can learn to like live with it and possibly get more information on what happened to them and how they can control it, I guess. So um, I don't think they're gonna be gone. We'll be seeing Ronnie again and Martin. I don't know if Martin's as important, but you know, we'll be seeing Ronnie again. So that's good, um, good for Caitlyn. So Eiling, General Wade Eiling, he was killed by Grud. Uh, Dr. Wells led him into that sewer thing where Grud lives, I guess, and he's dead. So he wanted Firestorm. I guess Dr. Wells wanted to protect that. He didn't want it getting into the wrong hands, of course. Um, I don't know if that's maybe to his benefit or maybe because he wants Barry to still focus on the reverse flash, maybe? I don't know. Barry also mentioned now that he knows that it was his blood that was found in the house back all of those years back, he wants to go to the future or to the past. He wants to go and save his mom. Now, I don't know if that's going to be happening in this episode or the next episode, whatnot, but I don't know how that's going to work out because if you like change something in the past, doesn't that like alter like your future reality and stuff like that? So what's going to happen in the future if he ends up doing that? Is he still going to become the Flash? I don't know. That's so confusing. I, I don't know. General Wade, he did end up taking Martin's research, Martin's research, I believe. So yeah, going back to uh, Dr. Wells killing him, I guess he took the research back or he got the research back so that the rest of them can't use it as a weapon. Yeah, that's kind of where that episode left off and what was happening in that episode. Episode 14 and 15 kind of. I mean, episode 13 and 14, kind of. So we're gonna hop into episode 15. If you guys like my videos, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to hit that post notification bell so that you guys never miss any of my uploads. I will leave all links in the description box so that you guys can go ahead and check them out. Full episode reaction will be on Patreon along with my Discord if you guys wanna go ahead and uh, join that. Um, I'm gonna try and start doing movie nights. I don't know when that's gonna happen. I just have to figure out how to do it on Discord. I might do it on Twitch, but I know that you can only watch Prime movies on, on Twitch, so. I don't know. We're going to see how that works out. But yeah, just make sure that you guys stay updated. I'm talking about it in Discord. If any of you guys know how to work that, um, like what camera I should get and all of that for, for Twitch so I can stream like movies and we can watch movies together, please let me know. But yeah, on to episode 15, guys. I got a plane to catch. A year ago? Oh, right, right, right. The first episode. God, that was a long time ago. I think I got one. I must go to run out one of these days, little brother. And oh. I've been taking care of you he had a brother. Come on, the explosion happened. Oh. Awkward. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? We thought it would be fun. Barry and I have been bowling here since we were kids. It's a double date? Why not fun. Uh, so we don't want to interrupt your date. This is one of my favorite places in the world. Hmm. Iris, don't be petty now. Let Barry be happy, please. Well, sport or hobby, I am still better than you. <laughs> Right, well, I'm serious. No, she didn't. A little bit of press. Oh no, the she didn't. Up, oh, Both of them are like, what the fuck is going on? According to Iris. Decedent's manner of death. He is homicide. Hello. You. Yes, you can. This is his brother. I want to know who killed Clyde Martin and what is his name. That's privileged information. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Shit. 
What the hell was that? Why does it look like foam? Perhaps this will jog your memory. Oh, excuse me. Cisco, do you not have your brother's dinner to attend? I was gonna ask Caitlin to come with me, but then I got a much better idea. Which was? To not go at all. Yeah, I don't know much about Cisco's like back. Okay, Sorry. you know what? Silent alarm has been tripped at the Central City morgue. I gotta go. Emergency at the morgue. Bye. See you at home. Hey, Linda, sorry, I should go too. They're gonna need someone from the crime lab. I'll see ya. Well, um... Hey. Dr. Wells is there too? What the fuck? Uh-uh. A dead body. Barry, you're in a morgue. You're gonna have to be a little more specific than that. The coroner. He's dead. Mm -mm. What did he do to him? What was that power? It literally just looked like foam. It didn't even look like anything. Uh, Alan, uh, my fiance just bought me this. Oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. Mm -hmm. What is that? Ice? Mm -hmm. Oh, ice. The coroner has multiple. It did not look like ice. Listen to this. I know that voice. That's Martin. It's not Clyde Martin. It's his brother, Mark. Oh, don't tell me they're gonna be coming after Joe. Look, last night on my way to the morgue. What'd you say? I was running and I Playing turned. like you don't know. Beat. I saw myself. I don't know. Another flash. Running beside Speed Moran. No, it was the man in yellow. He was yellow, Barry. He seemed real. I tell you what. Wait, there is two speedsters though, right? Dr. Wells and somebody else. Ever since last night, you barely said a peep. What is going on? You wiped something off Barry's I didn't mouth, like the girl. Way I felt watching you and Barry last night. Eddie, Barry, he's just like family. I don't like feeling like the odd man out every time you and Barry are together. I shouldn't have to. Something's changed between you two. Whatever that is, I am not okay with it. At least he's letting her know how he feels. Putting it out there. She needs to figure out what she's feeling for sure. You want to talk about what's been going on with you? You just seem a bit cavalier considering what we're up against. <laughs> we aren't up against anything. Joe, come on. Man. Look, I'm fine. The same way. Yeah, where'd this rain come from? It is coming down. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't think. Is is his brother there? No. Yeah. Oh, he controls the weather. Not again, not again. Whoa. He's really trying to kill Joe. To what the? the precinct until Martin. I want to show you something. Simon Stagg, remember him? Hasn't been seen in like six months. Simon Stagg. He's a recluse. You yeah. Know, when all Howard Hughes. This was taken the night that Stag went missing. The last person to leave Stag Industries the night that Stag disappeared was Harrison Wells. Yeah, was that like episode three or something? This every trail in this file leads to one person, Harrison Wells, which is why I need for you to start asking your but friends. But that's a no dangerous lead to Iris. follow for Iris, because who knows what what Doctor Wells might do to Iris. So the reason that I called you was because that hunch involves you. And you can ask me anything, Doctor Wells. It's about Harrison Wells. He was there at Stag's office the night that Stag went missing. Mm-hmm. Put it together. Put it together. Do you think it's possible that there is more to Harrison than people have been led to believe? Yes. Harrison Wells is a good man. If you're looking for a story, then you're not going to find one with him. Don't give up that easy. Subtle. Just think of it like an active lightning rod. You just point it up at the sky and it'll suck up whatever energy's floating around it. You okay? You seem a little off. Somebody at Picture News got it into Iris's head that something suspicious is going on with Dr. Wells. Like what? That he knows what happened to Simon Stagg. What'd you tell her? That she's wrong. And she is. Cisco. He's already got his suspicions because of Joe. Hey, Joe. Um, right now, but, um... See? 
You mentioned Dr. Wells might have had something to do with Barry's mother's murder. Why did you think that? Look, Cisco, I can't talk about this right now, okay? This camera is giving me a headache. It's like spinning. Jesus. Oh my god, how did he just get in here? What the? Joe? Cisco? I heard you're looking for me. Martin. Hey, Joe. I can call you Joe, can I? No. I mean you should put two bullets in my brother's chest. Your brother killed my partner. A whole lot of innocent people. If you can't protect your family, the least you can do is avenge him. Joe. That's not gonna work, guys. Oh, no. Not the boss. Hell yeah. Oh, how Barry just comes in and saves the day. Is he dead? Is he dead? Oh. All right, Cisco, I'm heading home. All right, fine. I will watch every episode of The Walking Dead with you. Period. Best show out here. You could Tonight we trapped a reverse flash in the force field. He escaped because the containment system failed. But I checked that data three times and the supercapacitors were still fully charged when he got out. There's no reason that the containment system should have failed. One perfectly good explanation is that Wells did something to the trap. We all saw that they nearly kill him that night. But yeah, ah, there's two, yeah. right? Why do I feel like Dr. Wells is listening somewhere? I'm so nervous. Can you keep Wells out of Star Labs tomorrow morning? How is she gonna do that? This is no. I thought I'd finally meet David's co-workers. Oh, this is fian his fiance. He speaks very highly of me. Does really? he? David's all bark. He's experiencing some paralysis in his lower extremities. Oh, oh my god. He may not be the same person you remember. Oh shit, he fucked him Did up. I see him? This motherfucker paralyzed him. You stay with Iris and you keep her safe. Joe, please don't do anything yeah. stupid. Joe is too fine to die. This is where he lives. Joe, why... You know what? Why is he gonna go in there by himself? You have a gun. He has... He controls the weather. Hey. Joe. Hey. And you shouldn't be chasing after Martin alone, my partner. Exactly. Oh my god, is any gonna die? Oh, yeah. this wasn't all he Martin already killed his last partner. His brother ago, did. So. She's... Hot, nice, and smart, and she is really good at her job. I just I don't think that she's the right one for you. So who is? Because it's not you, girl. You're just leading him on. Like, come then on. Who is? <sighs> Iris, you can't be doing that. That is so unfair. That is very manipulative. What? I don't understand. This doesn't make any sense. <sighs> out of the window oh shit oh my god no miracle you broke the one leg joe oh no then i got sucked out of my plane i broke almost every bone in my body it was excruciating at least you got a small taste of what that felt like oh my god his leg once we get how Holy important shit. Step away from my ever present routine. Thank you, kid. Well, I'm sorry, I believe these were to go. Actually, I thought we could sit here and enjoy them. Why not? We've seen what Martin can do. What are what oh, do whose dog forget? is barking? I can't believe this is happening. I promise I will bring him back. Eddie's gonna see that. Mm. 
Move out. Yeah, he saw that shit. I have your father. He's a little broken, still alive. Mm-mm. You want him to stay that way? Go to the waterfront, south side. You tell the police, your father's dead. How you gonna know if I tell the police? That's the end of Barry and Linda right there. I feel bad for her. That look. He knows something's up. So why don't we go to Star Labs in San Francisco? Let me just get these to go. Does he know something's up? He's gone. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, it's like a um, recording. He planned it. Holy! Oh, Joe, so sad. Fuck, what's he gonna do to Cisco? You're incredibly clever, Cisco. You gonna do with the Not Molly said so. You're him. The reverse flash. You and I have never been truly properly introduced. I am Eobard Fawn. What? Fawn. Wait, what? There were two of you. Wait, what? It's an after image, a speed mirage. Yeah, same. So was the raid. What? Barry's house. I was there to kill Barry. Fuck what the shit, dude? You're his friend. I'm You've so been lost you right now. Go faster. Means to an end. I have been stuck here. And the flash is the key. Key to what? To my returning to my world. So he's from the future? The past? And no one is going to prevent that from happening. First of all, his name's not even Harrison Wells? But you're not that smart. What's he gonna do? He's gonna kill him. Do you know? Is he gonna kill him? Because the truth oh, is. Oh, Cisco's crying. I've grown quite fond of you in many oh, ways. Oh, Cisco. You have shown me what it's like to have a son. Oh my god, stop. Fucking shitting me right now. He's dead, isn't he? Oh my god. He's dead. Oh my god. I'm not leaving you. Iris, please. Listen to me. Ever since the night that you told me how you felt, I have not been able to stop thinking about you. At first, I was really mad. He said I couldn't stop thinking about you. It's because I didn't want to. Really? Really? I've never stopped thinking about you. <gasps> oh my god, my heart! Oh my god, their first kiss. I can't. This is too much. There is a tsunami heading for the city. How do I stop? Oh, okay. Theoretically, if you can create a vortex barrier along the coastline, a wall of wind, that would be able to sap the tidal wave of its energy before it hits the city. They're running back and forth. Oh. I'm so sorry. I didn't want you to find out this way. Oh my god, he's gonna tell her right now? Oh my god, why is everything happening in one episode? Oh shit. Oh 
Did he just... Oh, he was running with himself. Because he was running so fast. Wait. Um... Oh my god, did he just jump through time? He just jumped through time, didn't he? How is he gonna get back? Oh my god, so much happened in this episode. I can't even wrap my head around it. I really can't. So much happened. So much happened. Honestly, this episode was a lot more crazy than I was even expecting. Holy crap, guys. I don't know if Cisco's dead. I don't. But he's he just put his whole hand through his chest. I think Cisco's dead, honestly. We're only in the first season. They're gonna kill one of the main characters. I can't. I'm actually I'm too sensitive for this. I really can't deal. Like honestly guys, it's it's gonna kill me if more people that I care about die. I didn't think that oh my god, I'm not watching the next episode till like Friday, but and it's and it's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? I don't even know what day it is anymore. This episode was crazy good. It was so good. I don't know what's gonna happen now because everybody's gonna find out that Dr. Wells is the is the man in yellow. He's the reverse flash. So <sighs> things are gonna get heated from here. I just, I know it. Things are gonna get crazy from here on out. So the metahuman that came back into play, um, the one that controls the weather is Clyde Martin's brother from the first episode. The one that Joe ended up killing and they jumped in the plane. You guys know what I'm talking about. Him. He's back. Um, he was out looking for revenge for Joe because he killed his brother. So Joe's still like tied up or whatever, chained up with a broken leg, beat up. Like Joe's not doing too well right now. That tornado, like what happened? Because Barry literally, I'm going all over the place with this guys, but I'm just going with what's on my mind right now. But Barry literally jumped through like a time portal and if he's if he's in a different time zone that means barry's gone because he was trying to stop that tornado from happening whatever that means he's gone right i don't even know man that episode was fucked oh my god all right as you guys know i am a snowberry fan i am a west allen fan barry and iris they finally, finally, finally had their first kiss. I'm so happy. Oh my God, you don't understand how much I was waiting for this. I was like finally coming to terms with it. I was like, all right, you know, they're just not gonna end up together or maybe they will, but not until like the far fetched future. But it's happening now. I'm so happy. But uh, <laughs> there's Eddie and then there's Linda, you know? So we got some problems. We got some problems there, yeah. Yeah, we got some problems. Now, a few of you guys did mention to me in the comments, you guys told me that the Snowberry fandom is extremely racist, which was really shocking to me. I mean, I I feel like I guess I should have um, kind of put that together. I should have known that just because, you know, um, a white guy and then a black woman being together is obviously going to cause some type of controversy and people are going to be upset and bothered by it whatever yeah like i mean i'm a fan of both fandoms i think that both of them could have worked out you know what i mean so i'm not like just like sticking to one fandom but i am kind of like disappointed that the fandom the snowberry fandom is racist and apparently that um apparently candace she got a lot of hate from the snowberry fandom which is really disappointing like that honestly hurts my feelings seriously like it does because it's like people can't separate reality from fiction and it's literally just a show like it's not even that serious they're playing a character and you're giving the woman who's playing a character in a show you're giving her hate you just look stupid honestly i could go on forever talking about racism in different t tv shows and whatever but i'm not gonna do that i mean i'm not gonna you know, I'm not picking sides. Like, I love both fandoms, you know? I ship Barry with whoever he seems like he's happy with, period. I'm not gonna go hate on a fandom or whatever. I'm not gonna go hate on the actresses. It's not real, and you guys are so pressed over it. Like, it's really embarrassing. But overall, yeah, I'm happy for Barry and Iris. I've been waiting for this to happen, so I'm just over, like, I'm just overcome with joy. They are adorable together. 
period. We didn't really know too much about Cisco and like his backstory, but we did find out that he has problems with his family from Dr. Wells. And um, the fact that Dr. Wells even mentioned him like a son, he thinks of him as, as a son is really shocking, honestly. Um, because he literally just murdered him. So with Barry and Iris being an item and everything, yeah, like I said, Eddie and Linda, they're gonna have problems. Eddie was already suspicious of Barry and Iris's relationship and just how, you know, they act around each other and that he feels like he's left out whenever they hang out. The whole bowling scenario, it really, really stood out. It really showed, like, you know, how much Barry and Iris are, like, you know, how much, I guess not together, but, like, how their relationship really is, I guess. It's not just a normal brother-sister relationship or like best friend relationship. There's obviously something more there. They saw right through it. Linda and Eddie saw right through it. I think Iris is still gonna be looking into Dr. Wells just because of, what was his name again? Something Stag, I don't remember. I feel like it was from like one of the early episodes, but yeah, um, finding out that Dr. Wells was there the night that that guy went missing, something Stag, I forget. I'm so sorry, guys. But yeah, she's gonna be looking into it. That also might be very dangerous for Iris just because um, now that Dr. Wells is out, I guess, and people know about Dr. Wells, he's gonna be a problem. Also, his name isn't even Do Harrison Wells, it's Eobard Thon, and he's from a different time. That's what I picked up. Yo, this episode was crazy. I see why you guys wanted me to get to it. Holy shit. Like, I was not expecting this. It's getting good now. It's getting good. It really is getting good now. But, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction. It was a great episode to react to. I loved it. If you guys like my videos, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to hit that post notification bell so that you guys never miss any of my uploads. And I will see you guys when I watch episode 16. Is that episode crazy too? Girl, how many episodes are in this season? 23, holy crap. Y'all, no wonder it's taking me so long to get through this. But yeah, okay, sorry guys. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.